Is your little one really congested, coughing, and breathing so hard that their nostrils are flaring? Or maybe they're making a squeaky whistling sound when they breathe out. That could be RSV. Let's break down the basics. RSV, or respiratory syncytial virus, is a common cause of lower respiratory infections in young kids, especially those under age 2. In fact, the CDC says it's a top reason babies end up in the hospital during cold and flu season. Early symptoms can look like a mild cold, runny nose, slight cough, maybe a low fever. But this thing can quickly escalate, causing way more noticeable breathing problems like heavy congestion, wheezing, or again, flaring of the nostrils. Premature infants or kids with heart or lung issues are at a higher risk for complications. Now, keep an eye out for those red flags. Labored breathing, retractions when the skin around the ribs pulls in, or fussiness from struggling to breathe. If you see these, call your pediatrician right away. Knowing the signs early can make all the difference. Think your kid might have RSV? Let's break down testing treatments and how to tackle those stuffy noses like a pro. Testing for RSV is usually quick and easy. Most clinics have a rapid nasal swab test. For most kids, RSV care happens at home with the holy trinity, saline drops, suctioning, and humidification. Trust me, these three are your new best friends. Now, if things get tougher, nebulizers can really save the day. These are machines that turn liquid into a mist that your child can breathe in. Sometimes it's saline just to keep their airways happy, or albuterol for the wheezing, or even steroids like budesonide, aka palmicort, to ease any inflammation. Now let's talk prevention. RSV monoclonal antibodies, MABs, like nirsevimab, aka Befortis. These are superhero options for high-risk kids. These injections act like RSV bodyguards, stopping the virus before it can cause some serious trouble. Recommendations are for infants under 8 months during RSV season. Now, the other recommendation is high-risk kids under 19 months for their second season. And the best part, one dose protects for 5 months. That's basically the entire RSV season. Talk to your pediatrician to see if it's right for your family. RSV recovery comes down to fluids, rest, and again the holy trinity of saline, suction, and humidification. So if your child's breathing worsens or you're concerned, call your pediatrician and remember, prevention like monoclonal antibodies can make a huge difference for high-risk kiddos. Let's keep those tiny noses breathing easy this season. Want to protect your family from RSV? Let's talk top prevention tips and must-know warning signs. Preventing RSV starts with good hygiene. The best defense? You guessed it, wash your hands. Wash them for at least 20 seconds, especially before meals, after outings, and definitely when handling your baby. Also, keep sick visitors away from young kids and babies, no matter how much they want to just stop by. For high-risk babies, there's extra protection available. A preventative injection called nirsevimab, aka Befortis. This is a monoclonal antibody that helps block RSV before it can make your child seriously sick. It's recommended for all infants under 8 months entering their first season of RSV and some high-risk kids under 19 months with certain health conditions like chronic lung diseases or prematurity. Now, a single dose lasts 5 months. That's essentially the whole RSV season. Ask your pediatrician if your child qualifies. So, what are the red flags to watch out for? Faster labored breathing causes dehydration, so you have to notice Dehydration is a classic red flag. So, why does this happen? Well, when kids breathe heavily, they lose water from their lungs with each breath. And, because it's exhausting, they may not feel like eating or drinking, which literally just makes the dehydration worse. So, watch for fewer wet diapers, a dry mouth, extreme fussiness, or crying with, like, no tears. Other signs include sunken eyes, cooler pale skin, and a soft spot Fontanelle on a baby's head that appears sunken. If your child is unusually sleepy or difficult to wake up, or if their breathing becomes fast or shallow, these could also be warning signs of dehydration or worsening illness. So, if your child is struggling to breathe, not improving, or you see these red flags, don't wait. Call your doctor or head to the ER. With good hygiene, prevention, and quick action, you can help RSV out of your home and keep your little ones healthy. RSV protection, what parents need to know about Befortis. Let's clear up the confusion about RSV protection options for babies. Even though Befortis is given as a shot 
it's not a vaccine. And here's why that matters for your baby. Instead of waiting for your baby's body to build protection like with vaccines, this medication gives immediate protection against RSV using ready-made antibodies. Here's the exciting part. One shot of Bayfortis provides protection throughout the entire RSV season, which is awesome. And this is actually huge because the older medication, Synagus, aka Palavizumab, needed monthly shots all season long. Now, while Synagus is still used when Bayfortis isn't available, most doctors now prefer Bayfortis when possible. Here's what most parents will see with Bayfortis. A quick shot in the thigh, sometimes a small rash, and the injection site might be tender. And that's typically it. Fewer side effects than our usual vaccine visits. Here's who needs this protection. All babies under eight months during their first RSV season. And for the second RSV season, children up to 24 months of age, if your baby is considered to have high risk of severe RSV disease. What type of babies are these? Premature births, babies with heart or lung conditions, babies with weakened immune system, Down syndrome, or other conditions affecting breathing. And you should note, most insurance plans cover this. Pro tip, try to schedule it with your regular checkup. And you should know, I've seen it in the health departments as well as in the hospitals right after pregnancy. So ask your pediatrician if Bayfortis is right for your baby and save this for RSV season. Dr. Merchant out.